Hello Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's go ahead and see what is in store for you this week. Okay Pisces, here is your hourglass. We have a couple of challenging cards. We have the mouse and the clouds and they're not very dramatic. They bring a few complications into the picture. When I see the cross and clouds though, I think we could be looking at some important decisions, some important considerations, some important things you're thinking about this week. And because of the child and rider on the right hand side of your hourglass, I think this can be in reference to a new beginning um, that you are pursuing. So backing up to the earlier column, we have the key and man. So it sounds like here you had some good solutions through someone or with someone. Uh, this could be a collaboration or support or positive feedback or help uh, from someone. Uh, but with the mouse and moon, it sounds like you are not sure what to make of it moving forward with the child and writer. So the mouse and moon is going to ask you to slow down a little bit, uh, definitely in terms of, um, or should I say, for the purpose of thinking things through a bit more before you move forward uh, in this new direction. So you have some answers, but you need to take more things into considerations, think things through a bit more, uh, and then you'll be able to move forward. So the mouse and clouds are actually just transitionary, like a transitionary step that can put things a little bit on hold until you figure more things out. Uh, but I have to say, Pisces, that the child and writer in and of themselves are quite bright and uh, they're very much encouraging you to move forward in this new direction. Now, the key mouse and child is similar. Uh, you do have good reason to move forward in this new beginning. But again, Pisces, the mouse slows you down a little bit and it asks you to prepare a bit better, uh, maybe do some more groundwork some more thinking about the direction that you're heading into and defining a little bit this path um, before you move forward. The man, moon and rider is supportive. It points to a supportive person. It sounds like a nice guy, you know, someone who wants to help out. It's also possible, Pisces, that in terms of a relationship, like a more personal relationship, uh, there are some uh, kind feelings and um, some optimism about what's ahead. Now, looking at the diagonals here, we have the key, cross, and moon. This is quite a spiritual combination, I have to say, Pisces. Again, I feel this has to do with your priorities, the things that you're going to align with as you move forward uh, in this new step here. And with the moon, clouds, and child, again, we're seeing a similar message of needing to think things through a little bit as you move forward. I think these cards suggest that this could be a pretty important step forward, but it might depend on your specific circumstance. Now, the man cross mouse into the clouds and rider can take on a couple of uh, suggestions here, Pisces. And the reason I say that is because they're quite in contrast with the positive messages of the key and man and the one in the bottom row. So in these diagonals, there can be some complications or some need to prioritize, um, some need to have a discussion about how to move forward. I also suspect, Pisces, that you could be making a choice. Sometimes the cross brings in this element of choice. You could be making a choice between two people here, someone whom you, know, you maybe don't want to move forward with and someone else uh, that you do. So that could also add to So that can also add to the thinking and the considerations and the thoughts that you need to go through this week, Pisces. And it seems that this is the focus of the week, although we do see the child and writer, which are great for moving forward. And as with most of our weekly readings, Pisces, the cards and the dynamics that they tell can apply in different contexts depending on your specifics. Um, here, I feel it's more related to work. The moon is about work. The uh, It can be about work. The rider is about goals and objectives, and we see it with the, with the key, which is great for achieving goals. Um, and, and so I'm not really seeing this romantic undertone to things. Um, it can be um, for some of you. It depends. You let me know on... Um, in which area you feel these cards figured in. So again, Pisces slowing down a little bit, taking a step back to consider things a bit better, needing to think about these choices, and, and after you've covered up some base, you know, move forward in this new beginning. 
So let me know what you make of these ideas, Pisces. Leave me your thoughts and comments. Very best of luck with the week. And until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay, Aquarius, here is your hourglass. We're seeing a couple of challenging cards, mainly the mouse, but also with the coffin. And we have a clear message of an ending. We see it in several combinations, mainly because it comes with the child and also with the road. So, so the road and coffin Aquarius is clearly the end of the road. I mean, it is one of those combinations uh, that is typical of Lenormand's simplicity and the way it speaks. And we see the coffin and child in this diagonal as well. So while we're at it, Let's go ahead and deal with it first. We have the rider with the road and then the bear, coffin, and child. So again, we're seeing these um, travel cards and they lead up to the bear and coffin, which is an important ending, and then into the child, which is a new beginning. Now the bear is a card of strength and power. And so it seems to me, Aquarius, that you need to make the effort to bring this to a conclusion and it might be um, up to you to do this. So you take the initiative to end it. The rider is also a good card for initiative. And so together and in view of this ending uh, element that we see very clearly in the cards, it seems to me, Aquarius, that you need to bring something to a conclusion. Uh, now let's look at the other diagonal. We have the ship, road and mouse into the coffin and woman. Um, so we're seeing the idea of an ending as well here. We have travel cards, movement cards, just like we do in the first diagonal. We have the mouse, which can be challenging with the coffin. It points to the need to let go. Now, the woman can play a couple of um, roles in here. There can be a relationship that is ending, but also one that is uh, beginning or both. And uh, we see the woman and child in this column, which points to a new beginning um, with a person, or perhaps you are represented by uh, the woman Aquarius. This too can, um, can be the case. So the diagonals are very clear. The central line are very clear that um, a journey is ending or a phase or something that you'd been pursuing is ending. And it seems that you need to make it a point to close this off at this stage, Aquarius. So we looked at the woman and child. Let's back up to the um, ship and rider here. So again, two uh, journey, travel, movement cards. This could, have, this could be a physical trip, Aquarius, in which case you could be postponing it. Um, but in most uh, cases, it's more about your goals and your adventures and what you're after. So this can be about some projects that you've been pursuing, um, some ventures that you had been invested in. And it seems that uh, some of them are not really uh, bearing fruit in the way that you hope, Aquarius. So you could be making a decision of closing them off and moving on to something else at this point. The bear and mouse can point to losses. Uh, the mouse is a card of losses. It's not very tragic, but when we see it with the bear, it can make it a bit bigger, make it a bit more serious. So this could be part of the reason, Aquarius, why um, you're putting this to an end. You're wrapping this up. It's not paying off, and instead it could be costing you. Now, looking at the top row, we have the ship, bear, and woman. So there can be some important um, steps and activities that you undertake with this woman. It seems to be this new one after the close, after the, um, the end of that initial or that previous phase. And with the rider, mouse and child, uh, there's a clear advice here, Aquarius, that you need to slow down as you move forward. So the rider is quite energetic, but the mouse is a slower card. And with the mouse and child, there can be an idea that you're not fully ready yet to turn the page and move forward aggressively. So yes, change is happening. It's very clear that it is. Uh, something is ending and a new beginning is um, ahead for you. But at this stage, Aquarius, you want to slow down a little bit and um, 
take it easy as you move forward. So maybe you're not fully ready just yet within the week. I do think that the focus of the week is on ending things. So make sure everything is cleared off and really finally completed before you move forward. Um, this will give you a lot more clarity and a lot more energy actually um, when you turn the page. The cards can be about different areas of your life. It can be a project at work. It can be travel. Like I said, in this case, it's a good idea to postpone. And it can be in terms of a relationship. The same dynamics apply across the context. So you let me know, Aquarius, in what area you feel these cards played out for you. I look forward to your feedback and any details you're willing to share, as always. Very best of luck with the week. And until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's go ahead and deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay Capricorn, these are some lovely cards. We have a lot of bright cards in here. We have the flowers with the star and they're great next to the ring. We do have the snake though, which is a bit tricky, especially in relationships. And the cards are quite focused on relationships, uh, Capricorn. We have the dog, the woman, and the ring. And we also have the letter, which points to communication. So it's pretty clear that there is some news or some contact with this person. And although it brings good news and steps forward, I do think there is an element that you need to be cautious of moving forward. So looking at the flowers and ring, this can be the return of someone or the return of a relationship, the renewal in a relationship, and you could also be re-engaging in some projects or activities. So there are some really happy times in this regard. Now the letter woman and snake can suggest some challenges or something to be careful of when it comes to news, documents, paperwork. Um, so be aware Capricorn that um, the, this relationship, or at least this news here that we're looking at in the top row, can ask you to be careful about certain things. Now, is it possible that we're talking about different relationships? Yes, it is possible, Capricorn. It's going to depend on your specifics. In the bottom row, we have the dog, lily, and star. This is a lovely combination for a relationship. It is great for projects and work and colleagues and it points to a supportive relationship in this regard. So yes, I do think Capricorn that it could be different people depending on what exactly is uh, going on with you in your relationships and in the different people that you deal with. Now, the letter and dog clearly points to news. Um, this is a, a pretty neutral combination that tells us that you're just in contact with someone or you hear from them. The woman and Lily can represent different people. It depends Capricorn. Sometimes it can represent a professional woman or someone you work with who is helping you work through certain uh, situations in your life and this could be a continuation of the previous pair where you might be doing working through some paperwork it can be something legal it can be something administrative um, and it can be something on the job where perhaps you're looking for a job or applying now the snake and star are actually bright they are a positive combination it suggests that you are on your way to achieving goals. Uh, it's just that the snake Capricorn asks you to be careful and cautious. And it also asks you to move in a more, to move forward in a more, in a slower way. So just really being careful of what is uh, next and what is ahead. Um, when I look at the two corner cards here, the dog and snake, I would say Capricorn, there is at least one person that you need to be cautious of. So just be aware as you move forward. Uh, but I have to say that the other pair is really bright and the letter and star can actually answer wishes. So overall Capricorn, it is very supportive uh, set of cards. Um, there is a renewal in relationships. There is really good communication. There can be really good offers and news and other um, maybe paperwork that you're working through that moves forward. It's just that there is potentially a person whom you need to be uh, careful of and also when you move forward, move forward gently. Um, and also Capricorn, I want to suggest that with the snake, it's often a good idea to keep some things to yourself. So don't tell everything to everyone. Maybe what you're working through or the things that you're doing require some discretion. This would also apply in the context of personal relationships, uh, which the cards 
support quite a bit i have to say capricorn we have the flowers and the ring the woman and ring the woman and flowers with the dog and so there can be some really good progress in a personal relationship but again the snake can be a bit concerning and ask you to be careful moving forward on this note capricorn when it comes to personal relationships the snake tends to be associated with deception and third parties but i'm not really that seeing that this is the case it is possible but even if it is the case i think you're able to um i don't think it's threat it's threatening um, you know, I think you're able to to move forward. I mean, move forward with awareness, as we said, but the star is really lovely and so is the flowers. Looking at these diagonals, we have the dog flowers with the woman ring and star. So again, very supportive for a relationship. And in the other one, we have the letter flowers and lily with the ring and snake. So these are really bright cards. Like I said, they can be an offer or a proposal to move forward. But again, the snake asks you to be just cautious and aware as you move forward. So let me know what you make of these ideas, Capricorn. As always, I look forward to your feedback, any details you're willing to share. Very best of luck with the week. And until next time, thank you for watching and take very good care of yourself. Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's deal out these cards and see what is in store for you. Okay Sagittarius, here is your hourglass. It is looking positive. It's largely neutral, but we do have the beautiful key in the line. We're seeing an element of travel. We have the road, the ship, and the mountain. And when we look at the mountain and dog, this can be a friendship or someone abroad and possibly online. Uh, but I think because of these cards here, Sagittarius, you might take a trip to meet up with someone um, and, uh, you know, get together in one way or another. And it doesn't have to be across, uh, you know, the ocean or some other country. It could be just a little bit farther from where you are. The mountain is also the card I use to refer to things that are online, you know, by reference to that distance. So perhaps you're uh, collaborating with someone uh, online as well. Now, the road and key is a lovely pair for achieving goals. So we see here you're going down this path and the key tells us that you're on the right track. So it's very likely that you're about to achieve something. It's also a, a really good card to unlock opportunity, to find solutions and to, um, you know, and to get answers. So you're definitely on the right track. And so this is a message Sagittarius that you wanna keep on doing what you're doing. The letter cross and mountain is an important piece of news, possibly an offer or some paperwork or some other documents and news and um, communications that you're working through Sagittarius. The thing about the cross and mountain is that they can bring an element of importance and so you might need to make a decision about what you make of this news whether you accept the offer how you build on it what you do about it um, with the ship uh, between the fish and dog the fish is a card of money Sagittarius so I feel this can be more about your work your business uh, your projects and uh, money related matters uh, or practical matters in a, in a more general way and with the ship and dog here it can mean that you're hired for a project or that you're collaborating with someone. It can also point to a customer. There is a sense of expansion that we see uh, through these cards. Now, the letter and fish is adding to this. It points to an offer, a contract, or some kind of business opportunity, or something that affects your practical life as uh, Sagittarius. In general, the fish is, is nice and abundant, and certainly uh, with the ship, it would be the case. The cross and ship can point to this important decision that you're making and what direction you're going to go um, and if it's about a physical trip will you undertake this physical trip and with the dog and uh, mountain like we said there is that person abroad so it's very clear Sagittarius that these are great cards for meeting up with someone for taking a trip uh, they're also really good cards for work and projects and collaborations it's also possible in some scenarios that these opportunities involve travel uh, or some movement to some extent. Uh, that's really going to come down on your specifics. So it's pretty active. Um, there is opportunity and you're on the right track. I think you're going to pursue this. Um, and I think you're going to feel that it is uh, important to you. So you feel that it, it aligns with, uh, with your bigger goals. The 
Fish Road into the cross key and dog is also very bright. This can be important for you to make more money, to feel more prosperous, to expand uh, otherwise. Um, and it sounds like this person would really bring in some support for this. And the letter road with the ship into the key and mountain. So again, we're seeing the three travel cards together. I feel it can involve some kind of movement. Um, the key is very much about success and certainly with the ship, you can look forward to um, seeing the, the uh, results of your efforts. Sometimes the mountain is taken to be an obstacle, but honestly, Sagittarius, I'm not really seeing it this way in these cards. I think it's more about climbing a mountain, um, trying to reach the top, going after your goals, and like I said, that element of travel or distance or uh, something online. So Sagittarius, it's quite an active week. Uh, it has opportunity, you need to pursue them, you need to make some decisions. Um, I also think you need to be in a collaborative mindset and be willing to meet other people halfway, uh, you know, to make things happen. Uh, but otherwise, it sounds like you're on the right track and uh, you're going to achieve some, some big goals and probably ones that affect the bigger picture, maybe beyond what you can see within the week. So let me know how you like these ideas, Sagittarius. As always, I look forward to your feedback, any details you're willing to share. Thank you for tuning in, and until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay, Scorpio, these are some lovely cards. We have the sun in the middle line. We have the flowers in the cards. We also have the beautiful fish and the tree. These are looking like good cards for work, money, and abundance. At the same time, Scorpio, we have a tricky set of cards here with the relationship element. We have the snake, which is typically tricky, and we see it with the ring and the garden. So this can be a warning about certain people. And we also have the coffin, which points to an ending. So looking at the tree and fish, uh, Scorpio, we have a really good combination here for prosperity, for growth, um, maybe growth in your income. Uh, you could be feeling more secure. You could be progressing in your projects, and it's making you prosperous in some way or other. In contrast, we have the coffin and the snake here, Scorpio, and this clearly points to an ending. Now, the cards are slow in their energy, and so you could be making a decision about moving away from a certain environment in order to pursue uh, something else or focus more on the things that are working in your life. I also think there could be some envy at play here, Scorpio, especially when I see the snake with the relationship cards here, the snake and ring and the snake and garden. So the middle cards are actually really bright. We have the sun and garden, and this can mean that you are popular or you are recognized for some of your achievements. And so there is a sense of success here. And I think the envy, if that's what's at play, can be happening within that context for you, Scorpio. So I think that the envy can happen as a result of this and in this context. In the top row, we have the tree, ring, and snake. And here, it's very clear, Scorpio, that you need to be aware of a relationship. You might move away from a relationship that is tricky or that is not aligned with you. It can mean someone who is envious or playing to win. Uh, but the thing about the tree and ring is that you want to take your time with this. And that's also something else that could be happening is that you could be engaging with certain people, meeting certain people through this garden element here. Uh, but again, the snake is, asks you to be cautious, Scorpio. So be sure you don't be too quick to trust and you're aware of other people and what they're, you know, what they're about and, and get a sense check you know, before you invest yourself in others. Now, the coffin with the flowers and fish is a lovely combination of renewal. Um, the flowers is typically about coming back into play. And when we see it after the coffin, it can mean that uh, things were on hold or you were away or you had put something aside for a while. And now is the time to re-engage with it. And with the fish here, it can be a reference to your work, other projects and other activities that you are engaged in. Often the fish is a card of money, so it tends to point to these areas, but it can also be about uh, that sense of abundance and also your ambitions. 
So it's time to re-engage, but at the same time, Scorpio, you need to be aware that some people are playing to win. There can be some envy here directed at you. So be careful about this and also move away from you know these negative energies. Now, the tree and coffin is clearly a combination of waiting, of things that were on hold. And the fact that we see it on the left side suggests that you had been putting something on hold or waiting uh, before re-engaging. With the ring and flowers, it is a lovely combination for connection and re-engaging. It can also be a contract or an invitation or some kind of connection that you make, some kind of involvement that you get into uh, that you had been waiting for. The snake and fish, uh, I like to see the snake with the fish, uh, Scorpio. I tend to see it as someone who is clever, who knows what they're after, and uh, the snake is really good with money and enterprise. So we see that you're doing well here and you're aware of what your, what your goals are. At the same time, you know, the snake is always a bit um, concerning, so always make sure you know what you're doing and when it comes to money i would say avoid overspending avoid lending you know get into the details of this and keep some things to yourself um, otherwise i do think that the cards are are very bright now looking at this diagonal we have the tree sun and flowers along with the garden and then the snake at the end so again scorpio i'm getting these ideas that you're doing well and you're growing and you're abundant and you're achieving goals um, and you could be popular and involved in in some environment uh, but again we see the snake with the garden which often points to a snake in the grass. So you really need to be aware of people who could be playing against you, people who are envious or trying to compromise you. Um, now, I think in generally, generally you're quite protected, but it's really not a replacement for being aware. The coffin sun with the ring, uh, garden and fish is clearly the idea that after a time of waiting, you are re-engaged in an environment. And I think it's related to your work, your business and your projects. Um, so this is a lovely set of cards, Scorpio. There's a lot of success and bright energies. There is a sense of abundance and a sense of, um, you know, being um, part of a, an environment, part of a group. It's just that you need to be aware of certain characters in there and also i want to suggest scorpio that if you're waiting for an offer to come through you're going to have to be patient it will come through the snake would also suggest that you avoid being pushy you know just allow things to unfold and hopefully you'll see that they do otherwise just keep in mind you know some tricky character in your environment so let me know how you like these ideas scorpio as always i look forward to your thoughts and your feedback very best of luck with the week, and until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello Libra, welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. So let's go ahead and deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay Libra, here is your hourglass. Uh, it is a little bit tricky, I must say. We have the fox and the clouds, and we have the bird along with the cross. So the idea here is i think that you're having doubts and question marks i really think this is some tension uh, but not outward tension uh, with another person and we see that the people element is also emphasized in your cards so this is going to be a week a libra where you're sort of getting a sense check um, about a relationship there can be some tension between you and others or between people in a certain environment and you're going to need to navigate this cautiously the bird and heart brings anxiety you could be having uh, worry you could be feeling anxious uh, you could be wondering how other people feel about you there can be a conversation that is a bit um, you know that causes you to question things the cross and clouds adds to this i have to say uh, libra and it suggests that you will have to make some decisions and have a thought about things but again i feel that well i really see this in the cards that you it's more inward so we're not seeing outward action and apart from this bird that can be a conversation the rest is sort of um, it's like uh, accumulating inside and it can cause a bit of stress in the center we have the dog and house and this clearly points to a friend a colleague uh, a family member um, it can be a sibling you know someone um, that you know is in focus here for you and i think the relationship goes through a bit of a bump and there can be some tensions here the bird moon and clouds is also a little bit um, anxiety causing 
the bird and clouds can point to a difficult conversation and the moon can suggest that um, with these in this context a bit more of the dark side of the moon so here you could be questioning people's intention you could also be feeling confused and not sure you know how how to deal with this uh, so again i think things are happening but you're not really re responding to them and I would say, Libra, that it's a good idea not to. So just try to get a sense of what's going on and don't be reactive. In the bottom row, we have the fox with the heart, which tends to point to someone who is half-hearted. So someone who is not really genuine, especially with the other cards that are going on here. And with the cross earlier, you could be, again, thinking about, well, how do you feel about this? You're not really into it maybe anymore. You're having some question marks about it. The bird and cross can point to this important conversation and what's interesting here is that we have the moon and fox. Sometimes this can be an offer of work but honestly I prefer to revert back to my original interpretation of this pair when it comes to a more challenging context Libra and suggest that this is more about an offer that you turn down. Now the clouds and heart points to some tensions and I feel here Libra that you know, this conversation or this um, invitation or an offer, it's not really aligned with you and you probably end up turning it down and so it causes a bit of tension between you and this other person. Um, when it comes to, for example, dating someone, it can feel like it's not a good fit and it can feel this way in any other context where you don't feel there is a good vibe or it doesn't align with you so you, you feel you want to pull back and that can cause a bit of tension. That's um, that's a clear scenario that can play out with these cards, Libra. Otherwise, more generally, uh, you know, there can be some challenges between you and other people, between people in general. So I would say just sit on this, okay, sleep on it. I'm not seeing that you need to react on it or respond to it in any way. It's more like trying to get a sense of what's really going on. And so within the week, it can feel uncertain like this, Libra. I also want to suggest that you don't be rash in making decisions and be selective about what you share with people. Sort of wait it out a little bit, you know, pull back a little bit and allow the dust to settle within the week. So a little bit challenging, Libra, I would say this week. Um, but again, no need to, to do anything reactive or outward about it. Just sort of let it, um, you know, let it uh, settle uh, so that you understand yourself better. And let me know how it played out for you, whether this was someone at work or elsewhere. It's always uh, interesting to see these details. Thank you for tuning in, Libra. As always, very best of luck with the week. And until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's go ahead and deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay, Virgo, here is your hourglass and it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty stable, predictable, and things are on the right track. There seems to be a focus on your work and your finances, the practical side of life. We have the fish and fox in the middle here, and these are really good cards for jobs. Um, so it looks like you're doing well, you're on a stable path. And I do think because of the anchor, bear, and tree, especially on the right-hand side of your hourglass, you want to stick with what you're doing, Virgo. You don't want to cause changes. Um, you're on the right track. Um, the fox is a, a diplomatic card. It is a patient card. So I would say if you were thinking of doing something, Virgo, I think you should sleep on it this week and maybe get more info about it. In the top row, we have the letter book and bear, and these can be really good cards for news and important news, probably offers or other information-based exchanges. And the thing about the bear is that it suggests it's pretty important. So in view of the fish and fox, I would say if you go that you want to wait uh, for this to come through because it looks like it's in the works and it's coming through. Now the ship tree and anchor are really bright cards for achievement and accomplishment. Um, the ship is a movement card, but the tree and anchor are the opposite. They are very stable, solid, grounded cards. So it looks like you're on the right track to achieving your goals. It's very clear from these cards, Virgo, that you want to keep building on what you're doing. Avoid changes right now. Just keep moving forward with it and you should be able to reach a positive conclusion. 
Now the letter and chip is great for invitations and um, exchanges that help you move forward. This could be the green light. Uh, it could also be in relation to travel. Um, maybe you're planning a trip. But again, with the book entry, which is a car combination of knowledge, I think the, the planning is more emphasized this week. Here you go. You don't want to do the changes right now. You don't want to make the big movements right now. Work on it, build on it, plan it better, and, um, and you'll see that it pays off. The bear and anchor is a really strong combination. Uh, they have a lot in common. They are strongly grounded. They are strongly rooted. They stand their ground. They're also great with having healthy boundaries. And so it's very clear again, Virgo, that you want to stick with what you're doing right now. If you're looking at changes, I think they come a bit later. Uh, instead, focus on the planning, gathering the information you need, putting in the paperwork, whatever is needed for you. Uh, but for now, you want to stick with what you're doing because it's paying off and it's, it's building on things. I can also look at these cards in terms of an offer, you know, with the work cards, the money cards, you could be looking at some kind of growth or promotion, uh, which is very possible from these cards. The letter and anchor is very good for receiving the news and the ship and bear is very good for moving forward uh, with that enhancement or that increase. So I really think Virgo, these cards are geared towards building on top of what you're doing and growing within that. And if you're patient, and you stick with it and you sort of hang in there, you'll see that it should materialize. We can wrap up with the diagonals. We've got the ship, fish with the book, fox and anchor. Again, I think you are after some ambitions, a Virgo or possibly some trips and changes, but again, it's important to maybe hold off right now and instead do some more research, make sure you've got everything covered. The letter fish with the tree, fox and bear, is really good for a promotion. The fish with the tree is an enhancement in your finances. And with the tree, fox and bear, we could be looking at a promotion on the job. So this might not be just about a job for you or it could be about something else, but it's very clear, Virgo, that we're looking at a promotion, some kind of enhancement in your position that puts you on a secure foundation. So don't give up on what you're doing. Don't make changes. Don't rock the boat. You know, stick with it because it is heading in the direction that you want it to. I'm not seeing relationship cards. I really think this is more focused on your practical, on the practical side of your life, Virgo. So focus on this. Focus on covering any information gaps. Do the planning, do the strategy. Uh, you know, uh, focus on your disciplines, stick with them, and you're on the right track. So let me know how you like these ideas, Virgo. As always, I look forward to your thoughts, your comments, and any details you're willing to share. Very best of luck with it all, and until next time, thank you for watching, and take very good care of yourself. Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouette deck. Let's deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay, Leo, here is your hourglass. It is looking really bright. We have the key and star right in the middle. And these are amazing cards for achieving a goal, wish fulfillment, a breakthrough, and uh, also healing and all around happiness. Uh, what's going on around here? There is quite a lot of variety in the cards. In the top row, we have the child and mountain, and that's a really nice combination for a new beginning. And often one that is more important than you're able to, to see right now. With the stork, there are um, there is this element of kicking into the new beginning. So we see that you move forward this week, and it's certainly an encouragement uh, for this Leo. So an exciting new beginning here. At the bottom, we have the scythe with the dog and heart. Now, because the heart is on the other side of the dog, um, it can mean, and it's also towards the right, it can mean that um, the scythe is not as challenging as it might be in a relationship context. Because normally, Leo, the scythe with a, a person card it typically points to a separation or a breakup. But we have the heart on the other side of the dog towards the right, and we also have some other supportive cards here. So I'm really not inclined to see the scythe as a separation element, but instead, a breakthrough or someone comes through suddenly you could get unexpected support and um, compassion and um, like a very good connection with someone 
The scythe and stork, on the other hand, though, is more about uh, a change. So here we see very clearly, Leo, that you're breaking away from something, and it ties in very nicely with what we. And it ties in very nicely with what we see at the top. So definitely a week for change and probably deep changes. The child and dog is a new relationship and I think it T crosses the bottom row nicely where we said that it's not so much a severance but it's more about a, a sudden opportunity to make a connection with someone and we see that there's a new beginning here. And with the mountain and heart, it can suggest a couple of meanings. The mountain can be a place abroad or perhaps your ambitions, especially with something like the star. And so with the heart, Leo, it's definitely a very clear message to pursue um, the things that you want and to go after your ambitions. The um, mountain can be a location abroad. And you know, with the stork, we could be looking at a trip. And with the stork, we could be looking at a trip. And so maybe there is a sudden opportunity to meet with someone. It can be in your relationship or a new chapter with a relationship. So possibly you are also traveling somewhere or going somewhere um, to engage in this connection. So very lovely cards across the board. They're good for work. They're good for friendships. Uh, they're good for um, any area of your life, but also they carry that clear sense of change and an ability to break free. Let's wrap up with the diagonals. We've got the stork key, the dog, star, and mountain. And again, there is a clear opportunity with this person and you could end up traveling or connecting with them otherwise. The scythe key with the child into the star and heart. Clearly, Leo, this is breaking into a new beginning and it's definitely an encouragement to embrace this opportunity. I mean, these are really lovely cards and I cannot but see wish fulfillment ahead for you, Leo. So lovely cards across the board. Um, I certainly look forward to your thoughts, your comments, any details you're willing to share are always interesting to look at. Thank you for tuning in, Leo. Very best of luck with the week. Until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing an hourglass today with the Silhouettes deck, my own deck. Let's deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay, Cancer, here is your hourglass. It's looking pretty good. We have the mouse at the beginning that can be a bit of an issue, but it's very clear from the rest of the cards that you easily resolve that and move forward. There is a focus on relationships, Cancer. We have the ring and the man, and we also have the writer that can support either relationship or suggest someone. And the cards are generally pretty good. It's really the key that um, helps brighten uh, the whole spread. Otherwise, it's more or less neutral. And like I said, a bit of a challenge here with the mouse. In the middle of the line, we have the rider and stork. And Cancer, these are cards about change, movement, moving forward. It's very clear that you pick up the pace this week and you go ahead with your goals. In the top row, we have the cross man and key. So here, Cancer, there is an important person that comes into the picture for you. And this is someone who offers answers. I also think they offer you input so that you can make a decision. With the cross here, this can be either a significant person or an important meeting with this person. And also it is a call for paying attention to this. It's really nice to see the key on the other side of this at the end of the line because it tells us that you will come out with positive answers. Now in the bottom row, we have the mouth, ship and ring. And the mouse is a little bit challenging. It can cause um, some delays or speed bumps and things like that. But with the ship and ring on the other side of the mouse, it's very clear that you overcome uh, the little issue here and you're able to move forward. I also think Cancer, it is advice for, um, you know, not, uh, not getting stuck, you know, like get over these little issues, you can move past them and you can engage in this, um, this venture here that I think is brought by this collaboration or this communication with this man. Now the cross and mouse can be a bit more challenging than either one alone. Uh, it sounds like this is an important decision, but again, Cancer, I don't think you should delay and spend too much time on this. I think you want to try to make a decision as best you can and move forward because these are very active cards and you want to take advantage of the time and this wave of energy. 
The man and ship can point to someone who travels, perhaps you travel to see this person or they travel to see you or perhaps there is some other kind of movement that brings you together. Uh, but certainly with the key and ring, this is looking like a very positive relationship and it's someone you're gonna engage with in one way or another. So this can be a personal relationship where initially there can be some doubts but things pick up or it could be someone in relation to your work, your projects and other areas of your life and certainly this is someone who comes through with answers and who helps you move forward. The cross and key suggests an important, dis, uh, an important relationship uh, and the mouse and key is very helpful because it tells us that you're going to be able to resolve any issues or doubts. So again, Cancer, it looks like this person comes in to help out and it looks like you're able to move forward. So very bright cards. I would say, you know, be there for this person. Uh, make sure you're you know you're available you're making time because you want to take advantage of this um, their support so that you move forward and in terms of personal relationships i do think that there is good communication overcoming an initial stuckness or an initial issue here and then moving forward and engaging together so let me know how you like these cards cancer as always i look forward to your feedback or any details you're willing to share very best of luck with the week as always, thank you for watching and take very good care of yourself. Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing an hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay, Gemini, here is your hourglass and it is focused on relationships. I'm seeing a lot of relationships in focus for many of us this week. It's looking really good for you. Uh, there is a child and dog in the center here which points to a new relationship and with the star and heart and really all of the other cards uh, there's some very positive movement with this person the star is the strongest card in how positive it is so the child and dog points to a new relationship and the star heart and man points to a wonderful relationship with this person so Gemini, this can be in a personal uh, context, a personal relationship. It could be a friend or a lover. It can also be in another context like at work, maybe colleagues at work, maybe a customer in your business, depending on how you operate. Or it could be someone else in another area of your life. The key here is that you meet someone new and it turns out to be a really, really nice relationship. And there's beautiful vibes here. With the ship, garden, and road, it's very clear that you're exploring people and places. So you could be uh, getting social, networking, uh, maybe making, going a little bit beyond your regular kind of circles and exploring people and places. And it sounds like you meet this person within this new context, Gemini, and it turns out to be a really supportive relationship. The star and ship is lovely for travel in general. And I have to say on this note, Gemini, that the road is also really good for travel. So maybe it has to do with this, uh, you know, going places. Yes, you could go to a different town or a different country even, uh, but I feel it's, it's more about getting out there. And so with the star and ship, it's uh, clear that you need to pursue this, that you want to be a little bit more adventurous and also pursue your goals. The heart and garden is lovely. Uh, it's some really good connections here. It's a kind environment. Um, it's, um, you know, there's mutual feelings. Uh, it's a happy place. And uh, with the man and road, you move forward uh, with this person. So you, you know, you go ahead in the relationship and, you, you know, you, it's, it's open-ended, but it looks like, uh, you know, it's a very bright uh, uh, kind of energy between the two of you. So Gemini, the cards are really clear. You could meet someone new this week and um, you're encouraged to actually go out and meet people. And I would also say it's a good idea to enjoy some good times, uh, you know, go to events, go to um, networking opportunities and things like that. Like get yourself out there and you could actually come out with a, a really positive relationship and have fun in the process. So very bright cards. Um, looking at the diagonals, Gemini, we've got the ship with the child into the heart, dog and road. And this very much aligns with what we already said. Um, a new chapter picks up with a person here uh, and the star child with the garden dog and man is clearly a meeting and a get together probably in a new context or some kind of um, 
new environment and it really answers a wish and you move forward positively with this person. So beautiful cards for a relationship, Gemini, no matter what this relationship is exactly in your specific context. Uh, be there, go out, you know, be open and uh, you, you will really um, get some benefit out of this. So very beautiful energies here for a relationship, people, networking. Let me know how you like these ideas, Gemini. Let me know how it applies for you, if you're willing to share details. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. And until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's go ahead and deal out your cards and see what is in store for you this week. Okay, Taurus, here is your hourglass. It's looking good. It has relationships as well. And I've been seeing relationships through many, many signs this week. So it seems to be a social week for most of us. And it is the case for you as well, Taurus. And in addition to this, the cards are really bright. They point to happy times and really positive communications with this person. As you can see, we have the dog and man. Um, they both represent a person. We also have the letter and bird along with the moon, which points to offers and communications. So in the middle line, we have the letter and heart, and this clearly points to good news, Taurus. Um, we've got the moon and man, which suggests that the offer probably comes from this person. And we have the tree and star, which points to wish fulfillment and things that unfold in a very, very positive way for you. In the top, we have the moon with the bird and star, and I would say this points to negotiations and conversations. It's clear that you're on the same page with this person. It's clear that the conversation goes well and that the outcomes of the communication or the conversation is very positive. So it seems to me, Taurus, that whatever offer or news or contact that comes through aligns with you and you take it up. In the bottom row, we have the dog and man like we saw along with the tree. So it's clear that this is a relationship that is unfolding with this person. And I would say it is unfolding really positively, Taurus. The moon and tree, a bit like with the moon and other combinations. I think there is uh, an offer that comes through, but also I think there is... Um, an attraction in the sense that you feel that this is working out and you feel that this person um, is supportive. Uh, they are those slower cards, both the moon and tree. So I would suggest to us that you take your time with the conversation, with the back and forth and with uh, what the outcome will be of all this. The bird and dog again pointing to this conversation and the star and man clearly suggesting a happy uh, moment with this person and wishes materializing uh, through this person or with them. So any way you look at these cards, Taurus, they are very supportive. They answer wishes. This person comes through as supportive. There is a really positive relationship with, uh, with them. And um, it's clear that things move forward in the direction that you want. So a very beautiful week across, um, across this uh, relationship and the interactions you're having. And Taurus, they can happen in a personal relationship sense. Obviously, this is a supportive relationship, friendship. And they can materialize in a work context where it's very likely that you get a, a really good offer and you probably take it up. And it could be in any other context of your life. So for example, someone who helps you with uh, some of your work like you know, accountants or you know, people who offer you support in any context, there is really good news here and there is a very supportive relationship. So let me know how you like these ideas, Taurus. Again, very straightforward, very clear message here. Let me know how they played out for you in what context and what the news was about or the conversation was about. It's always interesting to um, learn from you these details um, as there's, you know, there's lots of Tauruses out there. As always, thank you for tuning in. And until next time, take very good care of yourself. Hello Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. We're doing a medium hourglass today with my own deck, the Silhouettes deck. Let's deal out your cards and see what is in store for you. Okay Aries, here is your hourglass. It's looking really positive. 
we have the key in the middle line after the ship it's very much about opportunity unlocking opportunity and going after some goals it's also a good combination for travel so if you're looking to go somewhere even if it's not too far from where you are it's definitely a good time for it the writer and book can be about news Aries here we could be looking at proposals but I also think because of the key and the key being close to the book I do think uh, Aries that we could be looking at um, uh, perhaps you're delving into a topic or you're doing some research you're going after some information and I think you find what you need and you're able to to use it and move forward we have the fish and bear which is actually really good for money and income it is great for wealth and prosperity so you could be pursuing some objectives that bring you more income or perhaps you're doing things that help you with this um, area of your life so definitely a good week to be active towards your objectives practical financial and work related the writer with the house and bear can suggest a meeting Aries um, it suggests someone important I think this could be someone like a manager or someone in authority and I do think they could offer you support um, in the bottom row we have the fish ring and uh, book and I really think this is an offer or a proposal of sorts that um, offers you an opportunity to make more money so I really think these are these are good cards coming for you in your practical life the rider and fish is again adding to this proposal there is news about this I also think Aries that you want to um, take care of uh, your financial matters you know so go after bills go after taxes go after debt um, you know do the things that you need to do and investments of course if you can and things like that so really getting on top of your finances this week and also your other areas that are practical in nature so work business the fish is mainly a financial card but it also affects all of these areas the ring with the house is very good for close relationships again I feel that you could be meeting with someone here and with the bear and book um, this can be an important piece of information uh, it's also likely that you're still getting to know this person and also I can add Aries that you are stepping up to something that you do not know a lot um, about at this stage so again there seems to be a need to research and to get into uh, you know the information um, at the same time not having all the information Aries is not going to stop you the goal is really to embrace this venture and to you know do the work as you go so take the time to study to learn to improve yourself because you are in a position to grow there are growth opportunities for you here you need to do some research you need to focus on your money and also you need to do some homework around any offers and proposals that come your way so it's clear that you were quite busy Aries this week engaging in opportunities discovering what they're about learning the details as much as you can I also think it's a really good week to put your financial house in order and to focus on key relationships that could offer you support so on this note when we look at this diagonal here we have the ridership with the ring and then the key and bear so I'm really happy to see this because I, I think this is someone who's going to be supportive and you are going to get answers of course you're, you need to do the work as well um, but it's um, it's lined up for you and the fish ship into the house key and book is also a really positive opportunity unlocking doors but we do have the book at the end of the line and typically Aries I tend to see this as things being still unlocked so I think you are in process of discovering uh, things so you are in process of engaging in this exciting venture areas but keep in mind that you are discovering some things uh, move ahead and move forward but be ready to delve into any information you need to to discover what you need to to resolve um, certain unknowns uh, and you'll be well on your way to pursuing some really exciting projects with a very good potential of making more money so lovely cards I would say Aries I do think they are mostly focused on work money and things like that but in case they are more on the personal relationship front for you we do have the ring and house along with the top card that can suggest an important relationship materializing or in process of materializing because when we see the book on the right hand side there can be some things that are not yet known not 
coming through to the surface. So it is a relationship that you're still discovering, but it looks like it has a lot of potential. And so you want to pursue it and also keep an open mind. So really exciting cards this week, I would say Aries. I look forward to your thoughts, your feedback, what you make of them. Um, as always, thank you for tuning in. And until next time, take very good care of yourself.